The gold lid weight is a very useful technique for reestablishing eyelid closure. Incisions are made in natural skin crease in the super tarsal tarsal fold, and a mark is made right at the mid pupil line. Incision is made after the area is infiltrated with 1% zolicane and 1 in 100 thousandths of adrenaline. We wait about 5-10 minutes for hemostasis. The razor blade knife is useful because it's a sharp instrument. It easily cuts through the skin and the depth is controlled. It's down to subcutaneous tissue but not through muscle. We do this under local anesthesia because um, we want to be sure that the gold establishes good eyelid closure even though we test them in the office before we put them in it's always good to double check in the OR situation using a double action scissors we enlarge the incision through skin subcutaneous tissue if there is muscle we go through the bicular socular muscle which is very thin the next structure will be the levator aponeurosis which attaches to the tarsus Grabbing a hold of the lower skin margin, we notice the skin subcutaneous tissue and then this uh, levator aponeurosis lifting up the tissue, putting the scissors in open, pushing down to the tarsus and closing will take you right to the tarsus, right to the tarsus. We do not do any dissection by opening and closing the sutures, but rather put the suture, put the scissors in open, push down toward the tarsus, and then close. And you can see as you do that, the eyelashes will move when you when you come down to the tarsus. See the eyelashes move there? And you don't want to take it beyond three millimeters above the lash line. In other words, you want to stay three millimeters above the lash line in order not to disturb the growth of the lashes and also not to allow the gold to be in the thinnest portion of the skin, which is right toward the eyelashes. The three millimeter rule is a good one. It'll give you the most acceptable cosmetic result the other thing you want to do is to dissect between the cartilage and the orbital septum uh, superiorly. And so the gold will fit along the soft tissue connection to the tarsus inferiorly and between the tarsus and the orbital septum superiorly. This is a 1.2 gram gold weight. It has three holes in it. The lower hole will be toward the lash line and the other two holes will be toward the orbital septum. So we turn it around so that the single hole on the bottom will be down toward the lashes. We use 8-O-Ethylon, which is a permanent suture, and it'll be placed through the lower hole, not into the tarsus. It's very important. Do not put the suture in the tarsus, but rather in the soft tissue attachment from the lid to the tarsus. Now we try it for size in the pocket. It fits quite well. It's lying directly on the tarsal plate, three millimeters above the lash line, and up against the orbital septum. Now using um, 8-O-Ethylon, we'll place it through the hole in the lower portion of the gold. We start from the top and work our way down. Again, I want to emphasize, do not put the suture in the tarsal plate itself because this will move when the patient opens and closes their eyes and if you put it into the tarsus it will tear it will come apart and one other thing to keep in mind that the tarsus contains glands and if you tear into those glands you could res could result in uh, infection so first step is to suture the gold to the lower portion of the pocket. The suture goes through the gold, through the connective tissue between the lid and the tarsus, and then the suture is tied with five throws because this 8-O-Ethylon tends to unravel if you don't put at least five throws in it. It's very important not to be tempted to not suture this gold in it's, it, it, it looks like it will fit so well if you don't suture just close the wound but we found that was a mistake if you don't suture the wound even though soft tissue will grow through little holes until that happens there's a tendency for the gold to rotate migrate flip over and extrude now we've fixed the gold and fairly the superior fixation is again through the hole through the orbital septum 
and then out and uh, five throws on the top suture. Sutures will be placed on the third hole as well so that the gold will be completely fixed three millimeters above the lash line inferiorly to the orbital septum superiorly and then once that's completed then the wound will be closed in layers now that the gold is secured with the ethylon, we check its position it's against tarsus three millimeters above the lash line and up against the orbital septum now it's important in order to prevent the gold from extruding to close the wound in two layers first the sub-Q will be sutured over the top of the gold and then the skin sub-Q closed excuse me, 7 ovicro in an interrupted fashion. Enough sutures so that the gold doesn't show when you pull the wound apart. Sutures are placed in a way that they're buried and you'll see how this approximately very nicely. We'll check this out. Let's see if any gold shows. And then we'll know that we've had enough sutures in place to cover the gold. Notice a little bit of gold showing there, so you might want to put one more Vicro. Finally, the 6O chromic to close the skin. And as I said, these sutures do not have to be removed. One or two sutures, and that's all that's necessary. Demonstrating the contact lens that protects the cornea. To take it out, you just break the vacuum, and out it comes. I'm doing that. We must protect the eye when you're doing procedures over the eye. And two, if you want to see if the eye opens and closes, take the contact out. Notice how down with the gold in the eyelids come together 